Getting kids to help out in the kitchen is a great way to pass on the healthy eating habits and cooking skills. They'll need to be healthy eaters for life. Today we're in the kitchen with 12 year old Logan future skateboarding legend and home cook, and we're gonna cook uh, some amazing, an amazing recipe today. So I hear you're, you're quite the cook at home. What do you like to make? I like to make scrambled eggs. Scrambled eggs, great dish. Do you ever have eggs for dinner? All the time. That's awesome. It's a great way to get some protein into your diet and build strong muscles. Yep, instead of having a juicy steak, you could have some protein in your eggs with some vegetables. Great. I love it. Excellent point. So today I'm going to show you a recipe that I learned probably when I was about your age. Um, it's like an Italian omelet. Uh, we call it a frittata. And we're going to load it with some incredible ingredients. Any selection of vegetables that you like, uh, fresh herbs, uh, maybe even a little bit of cheese. We have a little bit of feta cheese here and of course our eggs to get us started. Okay, so we're just about set, but what's the most important thing we do first? To wash our hands and we need to have adult supervision. You got it, because we're using some high heat, we might be using some sharp knives, so an adult present is very important. Okay, let's get cooking. Okay, so we're ready to go. We're gonna start this recipe off. What kind of vegetables do you like? I'm gonna go with the spinach. Spinach, okay, I like that. Very simple. Um, it's really healthy for you too. Yeah, it's a great choice. So you're gonna get some iron out of it, which builds healthy red blood cells, and also some vitamin A, which you need for healthy eyes. Okay, so we're gonna start by sauteing the spinach a little bit. We've got a saute pan over about a medium low heat, nothing too aggressive. And we're gonna go ahead and add a little bit of light olive oil. So Logan, if you want a little drizzle there. You can add a little bit more if you want. Christy's not looking. Perfect, that's perfect. Okay, and now we can go ahead and add just a handful of that spinach. And you can hear it start to sizzle, so we know it's hot enough. We're gonna let that saute a little bit so we can start cracking our eggs. Yep. Okay, so we're ready to get cracking. We've got eight eggs that we gotta get through. So let me see your egg cracking technique. Okay. Side of the bowl, perfect. Professional, excellent. Okay, so let's get through these eight eggs. Yeah, great job. So Logan, do you know how many eggs you need at a meal to get one serving of meat and alternatives? I think two. Two, you got it, that's right. So two eggs is one serving of meat and alternatives so that you're going to get enough protein that you need for those strong bones and to fight off cold and flu and things like that. There's also another couple of nutrients that eggs have, vitamin D for strong bones and teeth and a nutrient that's called choline that you need for your brain to work well. So this is gonna be a great meal to help you do well at school. Perfect, excellent. All right, clean your hands off. Yep. And if you don't mind, Logan, let's whisk this up with the fork just to break up all the yolks to get it combined. Perfect. That's it, great job. That's ready for our hot pan. Eggs are gonna go right in our hot pan, sauteing spinach. Now, Logan, if you don't mind, just give it a quick stir with our spatula. Mm -hmm. And uh, you know what would make it taste better with more flavor? Some fresh herbs. herbs would be fantastic. Uh, that's perfect, excellent. We just wanna make sure the spinach goes everywhere. Now let's pick some herbs. What's, uh, what's your choice? We got some rosemary, we have some mint, we have some thyme, we have some chives. I'll try the chives. All right, good choice. So grab a few chives and grab your, your paring knife there. Now we wanna be careful with our paring knife because it's sharp. So as you cut, just make sure that your fingers are far away from the herbs. Perfect. So with your chives, you're gonna be getting lots of vitamin K, which is a nutrient that helps your blood form clots. And so this is important for when you injure yourself, if you scrape your knee and start bleeding, you want those blood clots to form so that you don't lose too much blood. Yeah, so and chives would help it. Absolutely. And it's also gonna help the flavor in our frittata. So you can go ahead, add those chives, just grab a handful of them, toss them right in. Excellent, and give it another little stir with your with your spatula. Get it all around, get it inside. Perfect, that looks good. And then I think another yes. one of your favorite ingredients, we'll add a little bit of feta cheese on top. Okay. So go ahead, use that spoon, and just sprinkle it over just as much as you like. Like this? Yeah. 
going to get some more protein in there and a bit of calcium for healthy bones and teeth too. That's it. That's perfect. That's it. Now that's ready to put into the oven. Logan, what do you like most about cooking? Well, it makes me feel happy knowing that my family's enjoying what I'm making for them. It's so awesome that you cook for them. All right, Logan, looks like your frittata is ready to go. We're going to take it out of the oven. Remember, get an adult to do it. Use an oven mitt. Use an oven mitt. how it kind of caramelized on the top and it's almost blew up like a balloon but it's done so we're going to use our spatula just to separate the sides just to make sure it comes out really easy it looks delicious hopefully it's not too hot yeah you might want to blow on it a little bit yeah mm. what do you think Better than the eggs I make at home. Well, you made this too, so. Yeah. Thanks so much, Logan. Thanks for coming and cooking with us today. Oh, well, I'm happy to be here. Hopefully I could come back again and make something new. Yeah, we'll do that for sure. Sounds great.